Hi, Melanie here with another Grassroots Minute for Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders believes that increasingly mass surveillance and attempts to undermine net neutrality are corrosive to democracy in America. He's voted against, thank goodness, the Patriot Act, which opposes warrantless wiretapping. In regards to net neutrality, he has co-sponsored and introduced legislation in favor of an open internet talking about mass surveillance. Now this should be curtailed. This is what he believes. It should be curtailed occurring only when the government follows due process, obtaining warrants, and adheres to the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution about net neutrality. Now the internet should be free and open. And he believes that internet service providers or ISPs should treat all data that travels over their networks equally without prioritizing some customers, sites, or services over others. What is the NSA and what are they doing? The NSA is the National Security Agency. It's a United States intelligence agency that specializes in signals intelligence. Now, historically, it's focused on foreign espionage and counter espionage, but has increased its domestic activities over the last 15 years. After the attacks of September 11th, the NSA began to conduct large scale illegal surveillance of U.S. citizens under the guise of protecting national security. I'm so sick of that. Now, the NSA can scrutinize all internet traffic that travels across certain major fiber, op uh, fiber optic backbones. While the NSA claimed to filter out data which stays within the U.S., this is clearly not true. Under upstream surveillance, any of your communications could be intercepted by the NSA if the data happened to pass through a foreign server, even if the recipient is in the USA. Now, the NSA has pursued several other approaches to mass surveillance, including mass distribution of malware. Want to know how all this is legal and how it's a threat to democracy? The USA Patriot Act was the pivotal piece of legislation that allowed the NSA and other government agencies to conduct mass surveillance with little to no oversight. According to a joint report by the Human Rights Watch and the American Civil Liberties Union, scale surveillance is seriously hampering US-based journalists and lawyers in their work. This report details the chilling impact that this has on communication between journalists and their sources, attorneys and their clients, and government officials and the public. Each of these avenues of communication, reporting, legal representation, and transparent government is critical to maintaining a functional democracy. This mass surveillance undermines cybersecurity. In a recent letter to members of the House and Senate, engineers and security industry professionals agree that the government's focus on America's personal information only undermines our nation's cybersecurity. Mass surveillance isn't limited to the NSA. Now, you've heard of the FBI, CIA, DHS, and DEA. And we may not have even been aware of every organization that's conducting mass surveillance, even within the US government. Now, in fact, we only know about some of these NSA activities thanks to whistleblowers like Edward Snowden. Now, it's very likely that more organizations are using mass surveillance, but the public simply doesn't know yet. So where is Bernie on this? Bernie opposes warrantless wiretapping and overly broad government surveillance. He believes that it undermines the Constitution and is a blatant overreach of government power. And I can't believe you wouldn't believe this too. Uh, he voted against the USA Patriot Act, that act which permits the government broad surveillance, the powers with little oversight, and its reauthorization. Now in 2005, as a member of the House of Representatives, uh, Bernie introduced an amendment to an Appropriations Act to prevent funds from being used to obtain library and book buying records. The amendment passed, but was later removed during House Senate negotiations. Then as a senator, Bernie voted against the FISA Amendment Act of 2008. According to the American Civil Liberties Union, this legislation gave the National Security Agency almost unchecked power to monitor Americans' international phone calls and emails.
Now, Bernie later introduced the Restore Our Privacy Act to limit overbroad surveillance requests. Bernie has tweeted his thoughts on this one. Okay, here's his tweet. In my view, the NSA is out of control and operating in an unconstitutional manner. I worry very much about our kids growing up in a society where they think I'm not gonna talk about this issue or read this book or explore this idea because someone may think I'm a terrorist. That is not the kind of free society I want for our children. Gotta love Bernie, end of quote. Change will not happen, you guys, if we're passive. We need your support. The grassroots movement needs your support. So help us, help Bernie, so we can help ourselves be part of the revolution. Visit and learn more at berniesanders.com.